Hey guys, and welcome back to another tutorial in uh, N Curses. Today we're going to be taking a step back from kind of the practical applications we've been doing for N Curses, and we're going to look a little bit more in depth into the refresh function because um, as your pl programs get more complex, you're going to really need to understand um, when your program is refreshing, um, why it's doing that, and when you should do it. Um, and before we start actually looking at um, some of the coding part, you really have to understand how N Curses actually displays stuff to the screen. So you have to think about um, NCurses as really two screens instead of one screen. There's a virtual screen, and then there's the actual screen, the, the physical screen that you see. So just really quickly, I'm going to run um, the program we have over here, and um, you'll see that we just have a blank screen. So um, think about the virtual screen as literally just this screen, but in, in memory. It's just a virtual representation of this screen here. Um, so what what common list or not common list <laughs> NCurses actually does is uh, when you create something it adds it to the virtual screen and when you add something to Windows or to the standard screen or anything what it does is it puts that somewhere in a virtual screen so it writes it to memory but it doesn't necessarily write it to the screen what refresh does is refresh or at least what the refresh functions will do not necessarily this refresh but um, the refresh functions will tell you Basically, it'll take what's in a window in virtual memory, and then it'll display it to the actual screen. Um, but it, it'll just do it for a specific window, what Refresh will do. And we'll get, get into that in a second. But you might think that, uh, if you're sharp, you might think that um, this program right here should be displaying a box, because we have our window, and then we have um, a box within that window, and then we refresh the screen. So you would think, OK, well, we write a window to memory, we add a box to it, and then we refresh the screen. Shouldn't we be seeing something? And um, this is where the semantics of refresh kind of get important. So what refresh does actually is the, the big refresh like this that doesn't take any parameters and is just the basic word refresh. All it really does is it updates the standard screen. Now the standard screen is that the container of all containers. It's like the parent container. It's the screen that um, everything gets put into. So it refreshes the standard screen and it will basically what it'll do is it'll just tell um, the standard screen that okay we have a window in there now but it basically doesn't even look at this part I mean it does but this is very basically this is in virtual memory but not represented in actual on the actual screen yet and that's because this is with this um, box border or whatever is within this window and all we've refreshed is the standard screen so if we want to show what's in the window we have to refresh the window so if we refresh our win with a function called w refresh, um, meaning window refresh, um, and we actually run this again, so first we'll make it and then we'll run it, you'll see that uh, for whatever reason we still don't have a window. Hold on. <laughs> so uh, did I make, yeah, make, refresh, did I save? That's important. Control W, or not Control W, but um, W. And refresh. There we go. Yeah, I guess I didn't say that. So <laughs> basically, uh, when, like I said, what's happening though is we create our window and we create the box within the window. And then NCurse says, okay, we're going to refresh. Now that we have all that in memory, we're going to refresh um, the standard screen and have everything that's in the standard screen display to the actual display. And um, as far as the standard screen knows, all it has within it is a window that doesn't have anything inside of it because it doesn't know anything about the information inside the window. It just knows it has a window and it needs to display that window. Um, and then when the window gets displayed, until we tell the actual screen um, that um, that window contains stuff in it, all it knows is that in virtual memory there might be a screen there somewhere. So when we refresh the window, the virtual memory within the screen gets displayed, or the virtual memory within that window gets actually dis displayed to the screen. Um, so basically, you only want to refresh the window that things are changing. And if something's changing in a window and the other windows don't need to be refreshed, you really only want to refresh the specific window where things are changing. Because if you're refreshing every window every time, even if a change is only in one screen, that's just going to add more code and more latency time. Uh, so you want to kind of minimize how often you're refreshing because adding stuff to the screen can be intensive on your processor if you do it too much. Um, also, a good point to note is that refresh will only refresh things that have changed since last time. So um, if 
you, if say this entire screen was covered in um, pluses instead of being just a box border, if we change one of the pluses to a minus instead of having to refresh the entire window, it would be able to know that oh okay well within that window only one that one character changed so we'll just refresh that one character. So refresh is a little bit smart in that sense, but um, that's one reason why you don't want to. Every time you um, refresh a window, you don't want to overwrite everything because if you overwrite everything with the same value again, it'll think that everything's been changed and you'll have to refresh again. So you really want to be careful about when you change things and whether or not they actually need to be changed or added to the screen. Um, but uh, another important thing to keep in mind uh, is that, okay, so right now we have our window, we have our box, we have a basic refresh without a W refresh. Well, what happens if we want to get a character from our window um, and we won't actually do anything with it, but let's just say we want a character from that window. So if we go make and then we want to run refresh, you'll see that, okay, well, why is it showing the screen now? Because before we had to have the W uh, refresh in order to show the screen. So if, again, if we get rid of, if we get rid of this altogether um, and we just make it a regular get char um, like that, um, where it'll end up happening is we make this, we refresh. You see, we won't get anything. So it has something to do with the W get char. And basically, what ends up happening is when you um, get a try to get a char from a specific window, it'll actually refresh that window for you um, beforehand. So if we had, if we did end up leaving um, the W refresh here for the, that specific window, it would actually be kind of redundant because it would be um, running refresh twice. Now this is important to keep in mind because um, maybe you don't want to refresh that window when uh, you run w get char. So it's something to keep in mind that it's going to refresh the screen when you run a w get char for a specific window. And it's going to refresh the main screen when you run get char. Um, so it'll refresh the standard screen when you run regular get char. So those are kind of things that are important to keep in mind. Um, so if you're ever getting user input, it's probably going to refresh the screen. And if you're ever um, trying to show the user something for a specific window, instead of running refresh and then refresh for every single window, you should really just run refresh for that specific window so that only what's in that window uh, changes and you don't add extra unneeded um, running of code to check to see if things in other windows have changed if they really haven't because that just bogs down your program and slows it down and that'll really become a problem if you're making a game that requires timing of some sort um, so refreshes will start adding on to timing and making timing really weird so you really want to make sure that you know where you're using your refreshes and I really recommend going to check out the documentation for a complete overview of refresh and I recommend checking out the documentation just in general because NCurses is a library and it's got a lot of features that I'll probably not be able to cover in every video. I'd, I'll give you the, the basics and the stuff that you really need to get going, but looking into that documentation will get you really down in the nitty gritty and you'll be really making cool stuff. So um, just take this as a sprint off point. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and after this we'll be picking up with some more um, actual cool coding stuff instead of just semantics and how things work. So uh, stay tuned for that and thank you guys for watching.